What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be diving into alchemy packs and whether or not they're worth buying. Uh, I know this is something that probably not a lot of people like. Not a lot of people like alchemy almost as at all as a format, especially players who have been playing Magic at, uh, for quite a while. Even in a digital format, people really don't like this format that's ever changing. But I do think in principle, like it sounded great on paper. Uh, I just think the implementation of how people acquire alchemy cards is really not the way they probably should have went about it to really also entice people to at the start of a format to really get them into uh and in this video i'll be diving into some couple ideas maybe of other ways they could maybe you know change up how you acquire alchemy packs i know we're technically getting a whole set coming next month uh d directly dedicated to uh D, D baldur's gate which will definitely be a better change of pace you know when it comes to buy you know having a whole set and then buying packs to then get into that set that's definitely a better route of you know getting someone to maybe want to play a different format but when it comes to actually just like you know putting packs up on the store uh, about a month after the set has already initially released and then you know only add an additional 30 cards it feels weird to then go back into the store to then continue to buy packs of that set that you may already acquired a good chunk of and you really don't need the other cards that you wouldn't that you would get from the pack as and it only would really just give you vault progress which is definitely doesn't feel very good it doesn't feel very satisfactory. Um, I know technically with the Streets of New Capenna, they experimented with also doing premier drafts, which I think is a definitely a, a step in the right direction because I know people like to draft to kind of acquire cards for, you know, a particular set out, outside of just buying directly from the packs. Another thing I was thinking that something that they maybe could do is back in the day when before Alchemy was a thing and we were trying to, I guess they were trying to space out historic for the most part before i think they did the historic horizons and whatnot is that they actually did anthologies which was like a set of about 30 ish cards give or take and you would spend either four th uh, four thousand gems and or twenty five thousand gold and it just gave you all the cards they were added into that particular format so if you really want to play historic you could just buy this bundle of cards and it will kind of give you all those cards uh in in, in uh, duplicates of four so you don't have to sit there and open packs at random to hopefully get those cards and i think when you kind of give players you know almost like a way to just kind of purchase into it it without actually having them to go through the you know the process of either burning their precious wild cards especially uh when alchemy is the same kind of style format as uh, standard with just the additional cards and the additional uh, mechanics uh it definitely be a better route and uh to just give them a way to just purchase the cards straight up and outright rather than give them a chance to you know have to crack open packs to open them that way or like i said because you are playing standard and also possibly playing alchemy uh wild cards are definitely very precious especially if you're not someone who has a lot of wild cards and making the choice of whether to play uh, the format that you're really focusing on or trying to splash into a new format uh, definitely feels very odd. Um, but it's definitely one of those things they definitely, I feel like, dropped the ball on. Um, it's something that I feel like with a little bit of tweaking, I think this other route of maybe doing a bundle of, you know, these cards from Streets of New Capenna or whatever, you know, Dominari United come in the fall uh, when that releases. And if they do add alchemy versions of those cards, I feel like this is outright. Just do a bundle of them. Don't do packs. Um, it definitely makes the store you know, completely messy. Uh, I just don't think, you know, going to packs, sitting here, going to my Alchemy New Capenna pack, opening it up and seeing, you know, all this stuff that is not really useful to me. Like, I mean, I've opened up Streets of New Capenna since it's released, all this stuff here for the most part, I don't really need, you know, just going to ball progress. Sure, I got a couple wild cards for Uncommon and Common. We got our one Alchemy card here and then also got our Alchemy Rare, but still this feels very weird. Um, you know, it's just like, why do I need these cards? You know, you could have just done them in a bundle, charged me just a flat rate if I want to invest in the format. If I don't, you know, I can move on and go about, you know, continue to build, play and build standard. Uh, when you kind of do it this way, it just makes it feel convoluted and very confusing. Um, and, and the way they also present it in the store when it comes to the packs uh, also feels very confusing. I mean, when you look at the packs in the store, um, it's like they're trying to purposely push you to play Alchemy because the packs are in the front compared to the other, you know, Streets of New Capenna packs here. Uh, it just feels kind of weird. Um, I mean, granted, the one benefit to playing Alchemy or playing Standard is that the packs don't differ in price which I guess is on purpose because it's like, well, if I want you to play in this other format, I'm not going to charge you more than playing in the, I'm not going to make a cheaper format to play in. Uh, I get why mythic packs are what they are, but still it just is very confusing. It, I, and I feel like that's yet again, it's a weird barrier to entry for someone who wants to play in alchemy and just not giving someone a way to buy like a bundle of cards. Uh, you know, like how they do the cosmetics where you kind of buy a bundle of cosmetics. It gives you all these things for one flat rate. But if you like look at, uh, I can pull it up real quick if you if you look at this uh, article i pulled up when they released the historic anthology 5 
uh, here on Arena. It was literally available on, in May of last year, um, and it was available for a, a, you know about three months. And it was four thousand gems, twenty five thousand gold. Um, you know, it, it gave you uh, all these cards that were legal to play in Historic, and it didn't just give you one; it gave you four copies of each. And I, like I said, if they did something like this, I feel like it not you know it'd probably be a better way. It'd be like okay, if I wanted to play in this format, you know, this is the easiest way to almost buy into it. Uh, you know, and then like someone could you know either save this much currency instead and it doesn't feel as weird or very like okay i have to now buy x amount of packs to hopefully have a chance of just getting these cards let alone just you know you know buying one thing and just getting them all at once um and i and i think that's something else that kind of makes it kind of makes it you know feel a little bit better than just than just doing it how it is currently um i'm not saying you know alchemy is a great format if you don't like it already your probably mind is decided but like i said if there's other people that want to play in alchemy but really there's not a really great way to get them into it i would say going back to this method of getting people to play a format it's a lot better than buy having them buy packs to play that format but with that being said guys let me know what you guys think down in the comments below um you know it's definitely one of those things that was kind of on my mind i figured i'd talk about it right before we get the new uh dnd baldur's gate i think when you have a whole set packs make sense but when you have a very limited pile of cards it doesn't make any sense but let me know in the comments below if you like the video hit that like button it, it definitely helps out a lot if you're new here you want to post new videos on the channel hit that subscribe button and until next time i'll see you in the next video just want to give a special shout out to the channel members here on my youtube channel you can also become a channel member yourself down below the video hitting that join button it definitely helps out a lot and i just appreciate you guys for your support